So this is the Panther battery charger. It can do 12 volt or 6 volt and it can charge it up to 12 amps at a time. Um, I've got it set on 12 volt mode, attached to a 100 amp hour deep cycle battery. Um, you can also charge these little 7 amp batteries or obviously your car battery which is what it would typically be used for. Um, you see at the moment it's putting in around 2 amps. Um, it will basically adjust depending on how charged the battery is. So to start with this was charging at about 6 amp, um, it was already fairly charged and now it's down to 2. Um, if we just turn it off quickly and then disconnect the power. So this is running from AC power, I've got it plugged into the wall over there. So if we plug or attach to the little 7 amp hour battery, resource at 12 volt, and then turn it back on, you see that it's this one's actually already nearly charged, um, so it's only putting in just over an amp into that one. Um, now, if we check how many volts are going in, I've got my multimeter here. Uh, just put that there. And this one here. So you see it's charging it at around 15 and a half volt, and it's putting in just around one amp, um, so that's fine. This battery is nearly fully charged, that's why it's not putting much into it. Now when I called um, Panther and asked them if it would charge a deep cycle battery, they pretty much said, we don't know, it's for a car battery, so you can try it, but it might not work. Um, now a deep cycle battery, it's resting full charge voltage is around 14 volts, whereas your car battery full charge is around 12.7 volts. So um, I wasn't sure if it would work, but if we uh, attach the probes, um, just, so this was on charge earlier today, uh, you just saw me disconnect it, let's put that one there, this one here, uh, what's going on, I've got to try and get the probes to connect, okay, I'm not having much luck here, one second. Okay, put that one there, this one here. Okay, so you see it's around 13.6, 13.7 volts. Um, full charge would be around 14 volts. Now, if I put the charger back on and let it actually finish charging, it should go up to that 14 volt uh, full, full charge. So the Pamper charger can charge deep cycle batteries. Um, so there you go, very useful. I use it because my car only goes on short journeys um, and I have a big sound system so the amount of power that the sound system pulls um, doesn't get replaced by my alternator because I'm just doing short journeys. So if I use this you know, every few weeks or something just to top up the battery, it maintains a you know, good healthy battery. So um, this was 2,500 peso. Um, you can get a 6 amp charger for around 2000 which I would actually recommend because uh, my 100 amp hour deep cycle, my car battery and this little 7 amp hour the maximum they've ever pulled is around 6 or 7 amps so I'm not even making use of the full 12 amps you might as well save yourself the 500 peso and get the uh, smaller model um, so yeah there you go, works well